G'day crew, how's it going? Inks here. In today's video, we're going to cover IRFFB and the good old CSL Elite and a few tips and tricks I've picked up along the way to get it working nice and smoothly. So before we go too much further, if we can just squeeze in that video like button and chuck in a subscribe while you're there, would be very much appreciated. And thank you. So we'll move on now. Uh, I'm going to assume you've watched a couple of videos uh, before we get too much further. So we want to make sure we've seen the Dorian iRacing IR FFB video. Excellent video. But he is on Thrustmaster. So I found a few little different tweaks that we're going to use on the CSL Elite. And we're probably going to want to have watched Dan Suzuki's video on the topic as well. Uh, he's not a regular user of it. So I've found after using it for a couple of months, there's a couple of little special things that can be done to make the experience a lot easier. Uh, so first of all, I got my uh, VJoy from GitHub. It's the same version, but I think that's, I used Dan Suzuki's link. And for the IRFFB, also using GitHub, and we use the Dorian link. And there's an extra little tool that I use, uh, iRacing Manager. Um, shout out to Chris Noble ART for linking us up with that one and that's what I use to launch IRFFB every time I load into iRacing. So for this part of the video I assume we've already watched the other couple of videos. We have VJoy installed and working correctly. We have IRFFB installed and working pretty much most of the time. So with Dorian I think he just drives the one or two cars. And if you're a one or two car player, you can probably be happy with IRFFB. But I love to swap between my cars and I'm never in the same car twice. And I found IRFFB would always drop out, not turn on, not connect to the cars. So if you're having some of these problems, that's where iRacing Manager comes to the rescue. So the first big drama I had with IRFFB is every time you want to play iRacing, you had to load the app. So this is where the iRacing Manager comes into it. So this was a program I was using to load trading paints. Um, and then I worked out that you can just add any EXEs. So you want to load iRacing Force Feedback as an EXE. Uh, and then every time you load into the sim, this manager will turn on IRFFB for you. So the next drama I come across was I wasn't this IRFFB wasn't always connecting to the car. Um, so it was connecting to iRacing, but it wasn't taking over the car. iRacing thought it was taking over the car, and that resulted in getting no force feedback. Um, so I found the fix for that is a delay start. So this program has delay stops and delay starts. I did try the delay stop, but if you like to use different cars, IRFFB gets a little bit confused so I wouldn't I don't recommend using delay stop but the delay start fixes the sometimes not connecting so I've just got uh, IRFFB starting five seconds after iRacing starts and I haven't had a simple connection issue since uh, and so the next drama you have after that is if you like to flick between the cars So the other thing I've found with uh, IRFFB is every time we drive a new car, it is a good idea to calibrate the steering wheel once again and open and close the IRFFB app. Uh, so I've just chosen a car that I believe I've never driven with IRFFB. Um, so we'll just load into that now. Okay, so the first thing we know that IRFFB has taken over the force feedback because there's no F uh, in the bottom over here. So we'll just try and get iRacing Manager open. Okay, so the manager's open, IRFFB is open. And the first thing we notice here is it hasn't loaded. So you would have known if you've always used car specific settings so it hasn't loaded the car. Uh, if we go to options, 
force feedback you'll see that the custom controls hasn't been selected for this car so I was right and we haven't driven this car before uh, so a couple of things that I like to do first is click custom control for this car so that should take over um, from there we want to close down the IRFFB so we'll just use iRacing Manager to stop that and then we'll start it again and this time you'll notice that it has loaded the Kia Optima uh, so that means you got everything correct if that's how it opens so once your IRFFB opens like that we can now do a quick steering calibrate I found that the force feedbacks works the best if uh, you calibrate the wheel every single time you load a brand new car then IRFFB and the game remembers the calibration for that car and that's how I've had the most success so just scroll back to about 50 there just mind me as I keep swapping hands probably could just do it one-handed but and then I just click that back to 1080 done and I guess this is probably the best time to talk about the CSL Elite settings. Um, so not that we've driven this car before, but in the Dorian video, he talks about how he likes to run suspension bumps at around, I think it was 20 to 25. Uh, and same with the SOP effect. Uh, the SOP effect is just how quickly the car catches itself. Um, so I've found it's extremely car dependent, but for me, between sort of 25 and 30 is good for most cars on the CSL Elite uh, but I don't run anywhere near these 25 numbers uh, most cars you'll find it's 20 or below um, so for the circuit cars for the circuit cars I'm around between 20 and 10 um, lately I've been getting these lower and lower and lower and, and if you're into driving circle or dirt I would go even lower again so for the rally cars I have it turned off um, for the oval cars I have it at around five um, and you'll even notice the SOP needs to be five or below as well so for the rally cars it's between zero and three on the CSL Elite for me um, and yeah about ten for the track cars uh, once you start to get over five on the oval cars you'll notice you can't catch the car anymore on the oval So there we have it. That's the couple of tips and techniques I have to get the IRFFB working as smoothly as possible. If you've got any other tips or tricks that I didn't cover or any of your own advice or any other questions, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave that like and throw the subscribe in there once again. And I will see you streaming shortly.